Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I haven't done a video for so long. I've kind of given up doing them just because they just take so much time. Like anybody who records videos can tell you how long these videos take to do and I just frankly don't have the time. So um, I've mainly been concentrating on my blog. Now today I am doing a video um, because I've been asked quite a few questions about this subject and I thought the best way to uh, tell everyone about it would be in a video as opposed to a blog post. Anyway, without further ado, because I don't want this video to go on forever, um, today's video is probably one of the most important videos that I've ever done. And it's mainly for people who smoke and who are trying to give up smoking. And I'd just like to say at the start of this, I'm not sponsored by this company at all, okay? <laughs> I genuinely am passionate about this and it's something that's worked for me, so I wanted to share it with you. It's no big secret. Um, it's not like I've discovered some magical thing that will help you give up smoking, but it's definitely worked for me. I haven't smoked now for six weeks and for me that is amazing. Um, just to give you a little bit of background so you know where I'm coming from, I've pretty much smoked since I was 16 when I started work, so yeah, 16 years old, um, a pack a day smoker, so 20 cigarettes a day up until six weeks ago, so that's pretty much 19 years of smoking um, 20 cigarettes a day, which is a lot. You're kind of looking at more than one an hour. Um, I've never really wanted to give up. I've given up once or attempted to give up once. And that was using patches and I managed to stop smoking for about four weeks um, but I didn't get any cravings but I found I really really missed that kind of hand-to-mouth action and it was difficult it was really really difficult with patches and then I went on holiday soon after that and then it all went a bit wrong <laughs> so <laughs> kind of just started smoking again so that didn't work and then I haven't really tried again I'm not somebody who's like tried over and over and over again to stop smoking it's just not something I've ever really wanted to do I enjoy smoking um, I've always liked it I've never really wanted to give up but the back of your mind and this is in every smoker's mind you know how bad it is for you you know it makes you smell really terrible um, some of you may hide it from like family and friends like I do I like hid it from my boyfriend for a long long time or at least tried to <laughs> tried to conceal the extent of my habit um, so yeah and I just got to this point where I just thought you know what it's time to sort of start thinking about this seriously and it kind of kind of um, happened by accident it wasn't a conscious decision I didn't say right on this day I'm gonna stop smoking it's kind of something which just happened gradually I went away um, traveling for work in sort of summer so over two months I went to Asia and my friend that I went with she um, had just bought this vapor device or she'd been using it for a few months and she'd managed to quit smoking with it and I was always very intrigued because it didn't look like an e-cigarette or anything that I'd seen before um, it looked more like a pen and um, I was very intrigued by it so she would tell me about it and I thought you know what I'm just gonna try one of these you know even if it doesn't work it's not very expensive I'll just try it and give it a go and see what happens and honest to God I ordered it online I um, it got sent to my work address so I made a special trip into work on a Saturday to get it I had my last cigarette walking to my work building and I started using that and I haven't touched a cigarette since it's been that quick and it's easy I don't feel like I've given up smoking I don't feel like I want a cigarette it's just it's really weird like when you've done something so consistently for 20 years you wouldn't think it would be that easy but this has been amazing and that is why I wanted to share it with all of you I've been tweeting about it so much and I've had so many questions and people asking about it I thought I would do a video showing you exactly what kit I got how it all works um, and why I like it and also what to expect when you give up smoking because there are a few things which people don't tell you about when you give up smoking if I was like oh you're gonna feel so much better no you don't <laughs> okay <laughs> at least not initially <laughs> so yeah that's what this video is mainly about so without further ado I'm going to introduce you to how I gave up smoking okay if you're wondering why my hair has changed it is now a different day <laughs> I recorded that first part yesterday and I'm doing the second part today excuse the hair it's literally like having the worst hair day ever but you know what I really can't be bothered um, to worry about it too much anyway <laughs> let's move on to what we're talking about so as I was saying I tried lots of things before I tried the e-cigarettes um, and I classed the thing that I use different from an e-cigarette because to me an e-cigarette is one of the ones which looks like a cigarette 
Um, I've had those, hated them, absolutely hated them. I used it like for two hours and thought this is rubbish, I'm going back to smoking. And the thing I didn't like about the e-cigarettes is just what they call the draw. So when you're sucking in, I had to suck in for about a minute, or it felt like a minute, in order to get anything, any of that kind of tingle feel on the back of my throat that smokers really enjoy. And it just started to give me a headache, so I was like sucking in so much, it just gave me this really weird like tension headache. I don't know what it was, it was very very strange. And I just hated them, they just weren't strong enough. The, um, the, the smoke or the vapour that you were blowing out, there wasn't very much of it, so it wasn't particularly satisfying, and I just found the whole product was absolutely useless. The product that I used was E-Lights, and um, maybe they've improved them because this was a couple of years ago, um, but I didn't get on with them at all. I have like a weird hair. Here. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was like my only experience of e-cigarettes and that's why I hear from a lot of people who have tried something like that and said no I didn't like it, it's not the same as smoking and I like get so like passionate and head up and say you know try a vapor stick instead which is what I've tried. So I purchased a vaporizer um, which looks like this. So as you can see, it doesn't look anything like a cigarette. This looks more like a pen. And initially, when I first saw it, oh my God, what is this hair? It's like the most annoying thing when you're trying to talk and you've got hair in your mouth. <laughs> Stuck to your lipstick, great. <laughs> so this is it, it looks like a pen. Um, the way it's made up of a battery, so this black part here is the battery, if I just take it apart, and you um, charge that using the little USB charger that it comes with, so it screws onto the end there and then you plug it into your PC, and there's a little light on here, so when this goes green you know that the battery is fully charged, and then you attach the charger to this little thing here, and this is in two parts as well, you have, have to be careful because it's got liquid in here, you have the atomizer, and then you have the mouthpiece which contains the E liquid and it all goes together something along these lines like that and then away you go okay and the way you use it is you just press on the little button just here as you inhale so if I just give this one a go so you can see how it works so so you see you get quite a lot of smoke come out as well now this isn't smoke, okay? The difference between this and a cigarette is that this contains none of the harmful things that a cigarette contains. It does, however, contain nicotine. So the liquid that you put in the end here, and you can get them in so many different flavors, it really depends what you like. So they do like tobacco flavors if you prefer that. They do um, like chocolate, coffee, vanilla. Um, they do all kinds of fruity flavors. They do menthol, which is probably my favorite. Um, and you can put them in there and they do them in various different strengths as well So if you're a very heavy smoker, you want, might want to start one of the higher strengths If you're you know a fairly light smoker then start one of the lower strengths And the idea is that you start at the correct strength and then you gradually work your way down the strengths until you no longer Need this and the reason this works is because it contains nicotine in the liquid now This is a little bit controversial, but all the evidence suggests that nicotine in itself is not harmful to humans Okay, nicotine is just an addictive substance and it's what keeps you addicted the harmful part of a cigarette is all of the chemicals and the other crap that's basically in there so all of the toxins which this doesn't um, contain so all of the things that give you cancer and make you feel bad is basically the result of um, the burning of all of these different chemicals okay so that is why this is safe um, however, you are still addicted to nicotine, so don't think that you're, <laughs> that, you know, you're completely smoke-free, essentially. You are still addicted to nicotine when you're using this, but without all the harmful side effects. This is a great way of getting you off cigarettes in the first instance, all right? I've literally been using this. I love it so much. I get the same hit in my throat that you do when you get a cigarette. You don't have any cravings because it contains nicotine, and I'm still getting that hand-to-mouth action and the best thing is you can pretty much smoke it anywhere because it doesn't smell like the vapor which comes out has absolutely zero smell so no more smelling like a smoker I can stand right next to someone and they don't even know I use this in the cinema <laughs> I use it in the office at work and the good thing is because it doesn't look like a cigarette you can be quite discreet with it so I kind of just hold it at work like that and just like puff on it and discreetly blow the smoke out and nobody can really tell that you're using it and this has just been a godsend for me. It's, it's, 
it's helped me quit, well I have quit for six weeks now and um, I don't even want to have a cigarette, I think this is absolutely amazing. If you're interested in this one, this is the Ego Tank, I will put a link to it in the um, comments section below. Uh, Ego Tank device, it costs, it comes in a little package like this, so you get it in a little sort of glasses case and you actually get two of these when you order them. So if I just show you what it looks like. So I have a couple of e-liquid bottles in there as well, so this is the other one. So you get two of these, da, 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 which is quite good because um, if the battery runs out on this one, at least you have another one to keep you going so you don't sort of go back to having cigarettes, so that's pretty good. So always, I always have one of these normally charging, but the charge is pretty good. It actually lasts sort of two days for me before I have to charge it, so a lot longer than my bloody iPhone. <laughs> Um, and then you have the e-liquids, which look like this. So you buy these, and these are the, the major cost of this. This kit in itself is only about £35 for the whole lot, and you get one bottle of e-liquid with it. The bottles of e-liquid are about £7 each, which um, one of these bottles probably lasts me about a month to six weeks. So when you compare that to how much you're spending on cigarettes, you know, I would spend £7, well over £7, on one pack of cigarettes. So within a day it's kind of made your money back. So yeah, I have lots of different flavours and as you can see here I have a cappuccino, I have strawberry, I have raspberry menthol. Now, this is my absolute favourite. Everybody who uses one of these finds a liquid which they just absolutely adore and that is their go-to liquid and this is mine, raspberry menthol. It's gives you a really really strong sort of um, hit on the back of the throat and I absolutely love it. That's my favourite. Um, I've got almond, I've got cherry menthol, which is quite nice. I have uh, vanilla, it's not bad. And I have coffee, and then the other one in here is cappuccino, which isn't as bitter as the coffee one. So, yeah, I have a quite a few different liquids. Variety is the spice of life, after all. Um, and yeah, you just mix them up. So for example, in the morning, I fill my little vaporizer up with um, a mixture normally of the cappuccino and the almond one. I love the way those mix together. And that's the thing, you can sort of mix them all up and find out combinations that you like. Um, so I mix those together, I have that in the morning, it's lovely when I'm drinking my coffee, and then in the afternoon I'll move on to one of the more fruity flavoured ones. So yeah, it's really fun actually, um, and yeah, I like the whole process of using this as well. And it's so nice not to have to go and stand out in the cold, and I can have my nicotine hit wherever I feel like it, you know, I don't have to worry about it, plus I don't smell like a dirty, horrible smoker anymore. So yeah, that is why I love this little device and I've been really happy with it. So I would advise if anybody is trying to give up smoking that you give this a go. I'm not saying it's going to be fine for everybody, some people maybe just won't get on with it, but it worked for me and it's the only thing that has done and I feel like I can confidently give up smoking now or stop smoking forever now that I'm using this because it's just been absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so as I said, I will put a link to the different um, Put a link to this little kit that I got in the comments section below. This is a uh, UK company, they're called simplyliquid.co.uk. I'm sure there are equivalent companies in America, Australia, Canada, um, and the rest of Europe. So, um, yeah, if you just sort of Google for it, I'm sure you'll find something that is fairly similar. So as you can probably tell, I absolutely love this little vapor stick. I think it's amazing and everybody should go out and buy one. Um, there are a few things which people don't tell you about when you give up smoking. The main one being, the, the thing I noticed when I started using this was um, after about two weeks, I got an ulcer inside my mouth. Only a small one, but um, I didn't know whether that was being caused by this or not. It might not have been, but I did notice I did get a little blister inside my mouth. Like nothing major. But I, um, because I was using this so heavily, I was literally smoking it all the time. And that is the disadvantage about this, is whereas normally you'd have a cigarette and then maybe wait an hour, with this you can literally do it all day if you wanted to. So you have to be careful that you don't overdose on nicotine, okay? Um, not that that's going to kill you, but it might make you start to feel a little bit weird after a while. So just know your limits with the amount of nicotine. I haven't yet... Um, I don't think I've actually overdosed on nicotine. Apparently you start to sort of get a headache, um, 
and feel a bit weird if, you, if you're if you smoking too much for your body. So it depends how much nicotine your body can handle, basically. Um, but yeah, I did get a little blister on the inside of my mouth, and I thought possibly that was because of the vapour. Um, it does make your mouth quite dry, um, so, you know, if you drink a lot of water during the day anyway, then you'll probably find that that's okay. I don't drink as much water as what I should, and it does give you slightly dry lips because the vapour is quite drying. Um, so, yeah, just be aware of that. I mean, again, nothing major. It's not like your lips start to go all chapped and crackly and horrible, but I did notice that my mouth was a little bit dry. Um, what else? Um, ah, yes, quit zits. I'd heard about this, and I was hoping they weren't going to happen to me, but they did. Um, when you quit smoking, one of the side effects is that you do get spots as your body starts to rid itself of all of the toxins. Um, you will get zits, and I still have them at the moment. They're underneath, I get mine underneath here for some reason, like on this side of my face, all the way under here. Wherever you normally get spots, that's where they'll come out. So they are dying down now, so I'm hoping I'm getting through the quit zit stage. Um, you will also probably start to have a cough after about a week as your lungs start to try and rid themselves of all the tar and all the crap that's in them. So you'll probably have a cough for a little while as well. Um, and what else? Um, yeah, the, a weird thing happens. After about three weeks of using this, suddenly all your e-liquids... Uh, uh, suddenly all your e-liquids... Um, seem tasteless for about three days and I don't know why that is I've heard other people say that um, it's just something that happens after about three weeks you're sort of sucking on it and I was thinking well this doesn't taste of raspberry menthol anymore so something weird goes on there I'm not quite sure what it is but that's something else to watch out for um, but apart from that everything else is great and honestly this week I haven't really used this as much of what as what I have been using it so I feel like naturally I'm weaning myself off it and I'm just I'm out of that cycle of thinking about going outside having a cigarette going outside having a cigarette so yeah it's absolutely awesome anyway I'm gonna stop talking because this video is gonna be super duper long um, thank you for listening I hope that's given you some um, information on these and um, has urged some of you to try them I know about five people who have tried this um, based on my recommendations so far and they're all doing brilliantly and I would urge you to try this too if you really do want to give up smoking. It is amazing. As I said, not for everybody, but um, at least give it a try. It's not a particularly expensive um, outlet um, when it comes to giving up smoking. So, yeah, that is it. I will put more details down in the comments section. So I'll put links to um, the kit that I've got and everything like that. So thank you for listening. Bye.